It's paid day sale with Shopee from May 8 to May 31 and you can enjoy free shipping, 15% cashback and 15 peso deals. You may also use the code MAYSHPIA to get an additional 100 peso off if you're a new Shopee user. Check out the link below in the description to know more about these deals. Hello, what's up guys? So I just wanted to address something. No? So syempre ako uh, creator na din ako no? and then uh, may mga nanonood sa akin na they follow my tips, no? they follow my guides and they follow yung principles ng investing ko. And yeah, I'm glad that uh, you're doing that. Kasi I found success na dun sa mga sa ways ko, dun sa strategies. And yeah, it works. And syempre, uh, kanya-kanyang circumstances tayo. So it won't work for everyone, but it will work for some. And syempre, it works for me nga. Kaya it's like, it's proven na. Pero syempre nga, iba't iba tayo ng circumstances. Iba't iba tayo ng pananaw sa buhay. Iba't iba tayo ng financial situation. Iba't iba tayo ng... Like, ano, emotional, parang build up, di ba? And, kumbaga, iba't iba rin tayo ng level ng knowledge sa investing. And, syempre, sa ibang bagay. Marami kasi nakaka-apekto talaga eh, no? Relationship natin sa pera, and yung parang attachment natin sa ibang mga bagay na gusto natin bilhin. And, syempre, hindi, lang, hindi naman tayo lahat is gusto mag-invest eh. So, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay lang yun. Uh, hindi ibig sabihin nun you're like lesser of a human being compared dun sa mga, you know, nag invest Kasi ako, nag invest ako kasi I enjoy it, okay? I enjoy it. Like, honestly, I, I really, really enjoy it. Na, pag nakikita ko tumataas yung portfolio ko, nakikita ko may pumapasok na pera sa akin na wala naman akong like, you know, ginagawa. It's passive income. Pero yes, technically hindi rin siya passive eh. Kasi, of course, I, I spent hours researching kung tama ba yung company na binibili ko, tama ba yung allocation, and yeah, of course, meron ding doubt, no? <laughs> meron ding doubt sa mga decisions na yun. However, yun na enjoy ko talaga is yung process, yung pag-research, yung pag ng company, and pagka na-realize mo, no, na after a while, or like in the end, tama yung decisions mo. <laughs> Tama yung mga pinili mong companies. And then, syempre, yung mga mali din. And I think, mas valuable pa nga yung mga mistakes mo. Kasi, like, dun sa mga failures na yun, sa mga mistakes na yun, sa mga maling investment na yun, yun yung mga valuable lessons na matututunan mo along the way. So, you really have to, uh, you really have to love the process instead of, like, uh, parang loving, no? Kung ano yung ma-attain mo, kung ano yung end goal. Kasi if you don't love the process, mo burn out ka lang and then eventually you'll quit and magigive up ka na. Anyway, that is not the point of this video. I don't know kung ba tayo napunta doon but yung utak ko, <laughs> doon tayo nila. So I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so going back dun sa una kong like parang goal for this video. Actually, gusto ko, I want this to be short. But yeah, anyway, I'll keep this under 10 minutes if I can. So yun. Uh, yun nga, diba? Uh, kung baga creator na rin ako eh. and like yeah content creator kasi I dash out content regularly and then people consume it however dapat hindi kayo like wag nyo i-treat yung content ko and yung mga sinasabi ko as gospel kasi I'm also prone to mistakes okay although I, I really make sure na nilalabas ko ang content or like parang kumbaga foolproof na no like it's to thoroughly researched and marami akong sources na like pinagbabasihan para syempre accurate yung mga information na ibibigay ko sa inyo. And syempre information din yun na ginagamit ko. So dapat reliable yun. Pero syempre, we're humans. I'm also human. <laughs> uh, I'm prone to mistakes and that will happen. Well, so far naman I think wala naman masyado no? but still. What I say, what ko ano mga strategy ko, it's not gospel, it's not for everyone. As I've said earlier. And same thing din sa mga, like, ina-idolize natin, no? And I'm, I'm grateful, no? Kasi may, may nangita ko, Lodi na yung tao sa akin, idol. But yeah, anyway, may mga ganun din akong tao na, na I, I look up to them. Like, for example, Warren Buffett, Gary Vee. I love those people. I love their ideals. Pero sometimes, I also disagree with them. Especially... Yung kay Warren Buffett and kay Charlie Munger Na sinasabi nila, like, 
parang biggest Ponzi scheme yung Bitcoin and yung cryptocurrency space. Well, yes, I know I'm pretty new dun sa space. However, since 20 actually, since 2018 pa ako involved sa crypto. However, however ni like last month lang ako nag-research ng like todo. Like do ko lang talaga siya inaral and last month ko lang siya sineryoso. <laughs> so okay. Ayun pala, isa pang update sa channel, uh, I might I might post some videos about crypto then but I'm not sure kung kailan ko pagagawin na. Uh, I have one like uh, in the works na about cryptocurrency lang talaga and how it works, kung ano ba yung technology behind it which is blockchain. So yeah, um good stuff, fun stuff. I I enjoyed like you know creating the content about that but yeah that is uh future content pa <clears throat> and also follow nyo ako sa TikTok kasi I post there like uh all the time <laughs> so every day so yeah uh, kung fan kayo ng short form and yeah kung like mas mabilis kayo matututo sa ganung classing format then yeah check out yung TikTok ko Eman PSPH so yun andun ako And I talk about stocks there, I talk about crypto there, and I talk about a lot of stuff there. <laughs> Smash yung like button, click yung subscribe if ninyo pa nagagawa, and I'm very thankful, no? Tumataas na yung parang subscribe not subscribe ratio natin. Parang dati nasa 31%, 69% yung ano, yung ratio natin. But ngayon, tinignan ko kanina nasa 40%. 40-ish, 50-ish percent na yung parang partition. Pero mas marami pa rin yung hindi subscribe na nanonood na mga videos ko. Which is weird, no? Kaya, subscribe na kayo, guys. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> ano ba yung sinasabi ko? Ah, uh, yun. ba? Diba? Like, si Warren Buffett and si, ano, si Charlie Munger. Nung una, ah, kaya, kaya, ano eh, kaya medyo, kaya medyo sarado yung utak ko nung una sa crypto. Kasi, Uh, I'm a big fan of Warren Buffett and if they say na it's you know it's BS it's bull crap <laughs> then I would believe that however I realize na you have to like make your own decisions based on your own principles even though yung principles na yon na nabuo mo for yourself was influenced by other people I hope that makes sense diba kasi um hindi naman, hindi naman tayo, hindi naman tayo like, mabubuhay na lang bigla na, ah, ito, ito yung beliefs ko. No. We get that from our, from our parents. Right? <laughs> diba? Sila yung nagpalaki sa atin. Or kung sino man yung, like, uh, kung sino man yung nag-raise sa atin. Like, uh, common sa atin sa Filipinos, tita, tito, ninong, ninang, uh, lolo, lola, ba diba? If wala yung parents natin, if for example, they worked abroad, they worked some, some place else, right? So yun yung mga tao na we look up to growing up. So yung thoughts nila, yung principles nila, uh, yung values nila, yun yung ina-adapt natin. However, however, hindi natin kailangan like, uh, like our whole lives yun yung i-follow natin. Kasi, when we become adults, or even young adults, no, like, nakakatawa yung, ano, yung youth ngayon. Kahit naman tayo dati, di ba? Yung millennials. Like, previously, like, sinasabi ng, ng mga boomers na, ano, ano ba yan? Ano, entitled and all that. Ang gugulo nyo, blah, 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 blah. Well, ganun din sila before. Kasi, they're finding their own path. So, same thing sa atin, and same thing sa kabataan natin yun. Grabe. Para namang ang tanda ko na, no? <laughs> kabataan. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Siyempre, iba na yung generation. Uh, Gen Z na, ba? Diba? So, yun. Uh, you have to find your own path. And kailangan, mabuo mo, di- mabuo mo yun, no? Even though, it's, this is not a race. Um, kung sabihin natin, like, nasa mid-twenties ka na, katulad ko. And you're just finding, like, yung traction or kung ano man, no? Yung principles, yung values, and binubuong mo lang yun. Or, like, nire-rebuild mo. That's fine. Kasi hindi naman to race. We have our own timeline. Okay? Okay? <laughs> okay. Alright. So, uh, yun. Random thought lang, no? Kanina uminom lang ako ng tubig sa kitchen ko. <laughs> and naisip ko lang. Um, like, last month, yung utak ko ay sobrang sarado. Sobrang sarado siya about sa ibang investment sa ibang like types you know ng investment vehicle and like kung like like ko lang sinasabi sa sarili ko dati ay hindi sabi naman ni Warren Buffett 
walang walang kwenta yan. Sabi ni Warren Buffett, scam yan eh. Yes, there's a chance, no? Na, and kahit naman sinong involved sa crypto space, sasabihin din yun. Kahit ako, sasabihin ko na siguro 98-99% ng crypto, like after 5 years, after 10 years, after 20 years, naglaho na yung lahat. However, merong 1%, no? Or even more na magsistay. So, I I had to change my mind about that. And it wasn't easy kasi ang tagal ko nang kinoconsume ng content ni Warren Buffett. Like parang I, I want to think like them. I want my brain to work like Warren Buffett's. However, remember, he is 90 years old. <laughs> so ang dami na niyang pinagdaanan and nag-adapt din siya previously do sa mga bago, de ba? Like for example, dati ayon yung Apple, ayon yung technology, ayon yun, ayon yung mga companies nyan. However, sabi ng arin ni Charlie Munger, when the facts change, our minds change. However, I think um this is not a knock against them. However, I think they're kind of too old to understand yung technology behind cryptocurrency. Yes, ang daming scam na cryptocurrency na shitcoin lang na papabilin ka lang, ipapump and dump lang nila and then ano na, wala na. After nun, goodbye. <laughs> Kumita na sila. However, pagka nag-research ka and in-apply mo yung principles na tinuro din no, ni Warren Buffett, ni Benjamin Graham, ni Charlie Munger sa atin, na you have to find a good company to buy na undervalued. Same thing din sa crypto. Maraming projects na maganda yung goal, no? And they really want to solve a problem. So, pagka nakahanap ka ng ganong project, and then, yes, you can buy their coin. So, altcoin yun, di ba? Basta, ano naman eh, palatandaan lang palagi, pagka hindi bitcoin, tawag dun altcoin. So, yun. Um, two cents ko lang, um, medyo mahaba na yung video. 12 minutes na, nakikita ko. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I hope lahat ng mga sinabi ko made sense and I hope na makatulong ito sa inyo and I hope that this will give you some value. Ayun guys, end na natin itong video na to. Huwag niyong kalimutan smash yung like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the notification bell para wala kayo ma-miss out sa mga uploads ko. I'll see you all in the next one. Always remember, be fast smart.